once again this is Steelheart with the Grievance Total Gaming Network and today once again we are exploring Landmark. This morning I am with a fellow Grievance member named Cal. Cal, wave. Say hi Cal. Hello. And he has built a really remarkable airship dock. Can you, can you tell us a little bit what was going through your mind while you were building this? Well, I kind of like the whole steampunk thing. And when I started, I was just going to go with some kind of tower thing. And then I thought, well, you know, more a ship to the top. So I threw up some scaffolding up there and then started building it. It turned out good. I kind of liked the airship. But then naturally, as soon as I finished it, I thought of ways I could make it better. I mean, if you look at it, it's pretty boxy. And then oh. I just kind of started going from there. I like it. I like the dock. I like the ship. When I, I came over to mountains over here, so when I came over to mountains, immediately, I, I mean, you noticed it right away. You know, of course, I noticed the G right away, but I'm kind of partial to Gs, so. <laughs> so take yeah, us so on the, uh, the bottom area, kind of below the white, it's just uh, plaster right now for placeholder, but I'm going to modify that heavily, I hope, if I can pull it off. You'll be even more impressed, I think, if I can actually do it. But So I started building from there. I've got a uh, fountain up above that. Uh, and then the ring, which I'm hoping to put some spiral stairs up to. I'm not sure how I'm going to do that. Then probably another layer up top where the actual dock would be. And then top it off with a, I don't know, some kind of domed roof type thing. Oh, that would and be outstanding. Yeah, and just basically run the columns you see all the way up. Now, you, yeah, that's... you got your ring pretty smooth. How did you do that? I found um, there are actually several voxel circle generators or pixel circle generators on the web. Actually, if you look for Minecraft tools, there's a lot of stuff there. So I laid that out, and the, part of the key is to make it a thicker pattern, you know, not just one voxel. I think I made it about three thick. And then you just select the whole thing, stack a bunch of it, and smooth it a bunch. Make sure you leave that one uh, air buffer around uh, everything you're smoothing. And then you uh, cut out the middle, actually. You just redo your selection and leave off the top and bottom. That way you get a nice clean cut, and then copy and paste that. That is really amazing. And it look, I mean, it just looks so neat. Now, I notice you've got like a little room in here. Yeah, that's probably that's going to go away eventually. That was the first uh, iteration. It's and the like... plan, if you look over here, when they get water done, uh, this is from the fountain. I've got holes chopped through, and basically there would be water pouring down into the bottom portion. Oh, dude, that would be, like, absolutely cool. I see what you're saying. Wow, that would be neat. And, of course, an arch. I'm still working on perfecting my arches. That looks like a mighty fine arch, sir. The G, of course. Um, actually, one thing I did with this, you may notice, I actually have a two-layer on the symbol, and then the uh, the back portion is all filled in. Oh, okay. Very cool. Let's see if I can cut this out without ruining everything. Oh, Lord. Well, at least you have the undo tool. Yep. Actually, I'll just do that. Oh, okay. That's why it pops like it does. Because it really stands out. Now hopefully, Control-Z will get you where you were. Yep. There we go. Awesome. This is the fountain you were talking about going down the to the this different is the holes. Second. The first one was pretty simple, and then I redid it. 
And the texture I use is the polished sandstone, which, man, that is shiny. That's a very nice texture. And you use the um, smoothing tool on the water? Yes, I did. The water is actually aquamarine. I thought about using cobalt, but eh, the gem works pretty nice. Yes, sir. Very nice. Very nice. So then these would be the basins where it would pour down below. Now you have, I noticed this when I first came up here, you have like a color chart. Is this just for a personal reminder? Yeah, basically I wanted to see what everything looked like, so I just laid it all out. And part of it got taken out when I was doing the uh, ring up above. But yeah, I just wanted to see what everything looked like, so I laid out a palette. What an awesome idea. Plus, you can just use the eyedropper tool directly from here for anything you want to build. You know, up until I talked to you just a little bit ago, and, and, and as we've seen in some my, our first exploring video, I've, I've done some building, more or less square building, because I'm still in Lego mentality. But I had never even heard of the eyedropper tool until you mentioned it. And... um. That, that is a really, really neat tool. I'm going to be playing around with it after we get done with this. I have heard that you can pick up plants with it, like grasses. I'll have to try that. So yeah, I got the columns as well, as you can see, with a base and a top on them. Well, what would you do the, um, this is regular slate yeah it's just a I think it's a rough granite I'm not sure slate maybe it's temporary it'll get changed at some point but and it looks like you kind of went over it with the smoothing tool a little bit give it a little bit of a worn look a little bit yeah um, for the base when you do that generally it'll mess things up but to get a nice smooth edge on the pillar you can uh, cut out the middle section and then repaste it up up against what you're uh, wanting to put it on. Because otherwise you get some artifacting right where it joins up, and that'll clear that kind of thing out. Nice. So let's take a look at the first thing that caught my attention, the airship. Temporary stairs. I like yeah, it. that thing. That thing took a lot of work, actually. Um, the texture for the balloon is actually the biome generic marble and grass. Nice. Because there really is not any kind of white in the game yet, other than the marble. Yeah, there's a lot of room for improvement on this. I can redo it, I think. I found some guides on uh, building ships in Minecraft, actually. <laughs> that gave me some ideas. So I think I could do some better things with it, make it look a little better. Now, hopefully, and this is one of my, my desires, is hopefully, eventually, we're going to see something in the game that gives items that you build some sort of propulsion well, wouldn't that be cool that would be cool it sounds like it might be difficult but I could see them adding things I don't know there's a lot coming I think and they're probably coming up with more ideas from things we're doing too I even have a cabin and a cargo area on the ship. That is really neat. So, while you were building this, this whole setup, what was the most difficult thing you ran into? The way um, 
when you use a smoothing tool on things, um, it will reach out and grab, like for the rope here, I call it rope, it's actually a stand of, uh, strand of gold, one voxel, kind of merged into the railing right here. So when you, when you do that, when you put something next to each other, it deforms what you already have in place. Ah, okay. I see what you're saying. That's still really well done. I guess it's really just well something done. you kind of have to plan around and play with a little bit. That is really nice. Well, I won't take up any more of your time, but Cal, thank you very much for showing us around. And, yeah, there's um, a nice look... view for, of the fountain here. Ooh, very much so. Very much so. But thank you for showing us around. I look forward to seeing your improvements on it and whatever else you add to it. And we'll be coming back and looking at that as well. So thank you, Cal, very much. Thanks. Uh, this has been Steelheart with Grievance Total Gaming Network. And we will continue to bring bring you some very fascinating creations from EverQuest, Less, EverQuest Next Landmark. Y'all have a great day and see y'all soon.